Well, having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and a living way which he hath consecrated for us through the veil that is to say his flesh, and having a high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. And this morning as we come to the table, it's my intention to remind you that this is a table that's been spread for you to partake of. Uh, this is a table where there is provision. This is a table where there is a blessing to be had. Now we approach this morning in our text with a few things in mind which when they're seen properly produce the very effect which our text calls for this morning. And that is, it, it, it prompts us to draw near. First, I want to declare to you, brethren, that you have boldness to enter this morning. Uh, this, this very morning, you have a clear path to the God of heaven. You can confidently and expectantly seek your God without fear of rejection or dismissal. If you're in Christ this morning, uh, you may actually make an approach into the throne of grace to, to find grace to help in time of need. You can do this because the way is open this morning. Amen. Um, when, when, when you come before God, there, there is no bill of debt that you see. Although, although we're poor in spirit, well, there's, there's nothing... Uh, uh, Whenever we approach God, whenever we go into His presence, we're not presented with a bill, so to speak. Because the, the blood of Christ exists in the holiest forever as a receipt, so to speak, of the price that was paid. So when you come into that, when you come into this, into this way to your God, the, the bill is marked paid. Secondly, this morning, we remember that this way which we've been given, it's, it's a new way. This is not an old way. This is in a, a, a way according to the oldness of the letter. We're not, we're not no, no longer bound to serve God according to our own. We're not going to establish our own righteousness before Him, not merely by commandments. But this, this is a new way, and, it, and it's a living way. Now, Brother Pat talked about this a lot, the renewal. It, 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 it's blessed me in thinking about it, too, that we, we are a colony of heaven, so to speak, on the earth. Uh, we're, we're, although we live among the shadows of this earth, and although we dwell here, this isn't our home. Uh, we don't belong here. We're, we're continually moving forward. Now looking at it from one perspective, Christ has opened up the way. He has, he has made the path. He has, he, has tread the, or, uh, he has made the road. But from another point of view, Christ is the road. That, that's what makes it a living way. That you can't continue in this way unless you're in Christ. You can't continue in this way unless you're connected to Him. That's where the life is. It's, it's, a living, it's a living way. And this is one which was consecrated. It, it's just, this is a way for those who've been set apart from the world. This is a, a, a way for those whose hearts and minds are pointed heavenward. Now we come to the table this morning with a heart of thanksgiving and praise, remembering this blessed condition which we have been brought to, 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 to that we are privileged to be those who are in Christ Jesus, and that, and that Christ dwells in us. And thirdly, we remember that we have a high priest over the house of God. What a consideration is this, brethren, as I was talking about earlier, that not only has Christ opened up this highway of holiness, not only has, has He made a way clear, not only has He pointed us in the direction which we need to go, but He has actually traveled the path that lies ahead of us Himself. He knows the way. So we know that we can follow Him because we know he, He's in heaven now. A man, a glorified man is in heaven now as our representative. And he tread the path that's before us so we can have confidence in any, in any temptation that we have, any experience that we have in this, this earth. We can have confidence that God is able to give us the grace that we need to overcome it because we have a, a, a faithful high priest, a merciful high priest who's able to be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. See, he knows what it's like to be tempted, and he, he, he knows what, how, to, how to overcome it. Uh, he, he's now continually interceding for us. 
Uh, we we th thank God for this. This is not a one-time thing. We thank God, too, that, that he didn't set up an angel to intercede for us. But someone who, who wouldn't be able to, to understand what we, what we needed. He, he's now currently, even this morning, he's sending forth the Spirit of God. He's giving us grace to meet the task ahead. To stay on the straight and narrow way. To not be diverted to anything off to the side. We, we don't want to fall off in any ditches of deception this morning. Amen. That's, that's why we're, we're drawing near. Remembering these things. With all these things in mind, let us draw near. Let us, let us come closer this morning. Oh, well, we have a high priest. The, the way is opened up. This is a new and it's a living way. Now, as we come to the table this morning, we also know that we can do this having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience. Uh, you, can, you can come. There shouldn't be anything hindering you from coming to this table this morning. Now, if you feel that there is something that's hindering you, then flee to Christ. He's, he's made this provision. He promised this in the scripture, that, that he, he would cleanse your conscience and sprinkle and have our bodies washed with pure water. This is another thing that I've seen even more clear this morning, that if, uh, if you're tired, just as I am in your mortal body this morning, then shake yourselves. And allow God to uh, uh, quicken your mortal body and, and be as Jacob was, uh, determined, so determined to get the blessing that you'll wrestle for it all night long until, until you'll get it. God will give you the strength to be able to do that. So let us, let us give thanks this morning, brethren.